Hello, it's Third Age Fitness here again. I'd like to talk to you about potential. Potential can be in many different forms in your life. So say if your life is from A in a straight line to B, A being birth, B being death, you've got many years to develop different types of potential. You could develop intellectual potential, academic potential, spiritual potential, loads of different types of potential. You can also develop physical potential. Now, what I teach about mainly is strength. But in fitness, you've got three main components of fitness. You've got strength, you've got stamina, and you've got suppleness. Now what you got to do is different types of exercises develop different types of uh, um, components of fitness. So in strength training, resistance training, weightlifting, stamina, cardiovascular exercise, cycling, walking, running, you've got suppleness, stretching, Yoga type exercises will really help with your suppleness. But I teach mainly, and these, what I call these are the three S's, they're the three main components of fitness, basic components of fitness that I teach about. So mainly I'd like to talk to you about strength potential because what I have noticed working with a lot of older people is that strength seems to become the number one issue in everyone's lives as they get on in years. Getting up out of a chair, picking stuff up, all kinds of different aspects of strength challenge people as they get older. Okay, so how can you develop your strength potential? Through progressive strength training. That's how. You lift more weights, the next week you lift a little bit more and you put a little bit more resistance on, gradually you will get stronger. So say for instance, uh, in your life at 30 years old, you develop 70% of your potential strength potential okay so that's not too bad right but say as you get older you start to get weaker because you will get weaker people do get weaker as they get older right so say you get to 80 years old yeah and you've lost uh, strength say you're down to 40 percent that's all you've got in your body at 80 years old You've been fairly uh, sedentary throughout the years, so you've got weaker, now you're down to 40%. Now, the problem is at that point, if you get ill or you have an injury, you fall, you break a hip, you're bedridden, you can lose up to 20% a week if you're in bed for a week. If you get bedridden for a week, it's very, very detrimental to your health because you get a lot weaker. So say if you're at 40 and you lose 20% of your of your strength because you're in bed for a week You're going to be down to 20% now you could be in bed for, for um, Two weeks, you know, and you can get down and you can actually get down to one two percent of your body strength It's very very detrimental people often will uh, go into hospital after a broken hip if they're weak already They often don't come out. That's the truth Oftentimes people will lose so much strength that they can't get up out of a chair anymore. What do you have to do to gain strength? Progressive strength training, regularly. You can do progressive strength training once or twice a week and significantly gain strength in your body. Yeah, so please, please, please get in touch with, uh, with Third Age Fitness on my website, Facebook, YouTube, Whatever you have to do, but learn about progressive strength training is absolutely amazing. It works for everyone. I work with people in their 90s, 80s. It works for everyone, okay? Progressive strength training. Develop your strength potential so that if you do have any sort of problem in your life, illness, injury, you have strength to lose. Thanks for listening. Signing off, Third Age Fitness.